hi everyone welcome to another travel video let's start from my home today we are heading to chimney dam it's such a recommended natural destination it's such a little bit far away it means 55 kilometers from my home uh, and we are taking my motorbike so that is much convenient for us now we are at the side entry to our destination and here we go so guys this is government property it's called Harrison Rubber Estate it's more than thousand acres yeah and this river begins from Chimney Dam however it seems a muddy water On both of the sides, it's entirely a thick of rubber estates. The way to do, yeah, it seems very nice. I really like the scenery of these and air estates. Moreover, we can see the signs of wild animals crossing by each corner of the roads. And here we are. Yoo -hoo. So, so guys, guys, I stopped here because I noticed a calm stream flowing nearby. So just look at the waters, like crystal clear, so clean, tidy. So this is the water and the streamline connecting to many different rivers near to the Trishul and it is flowing to the sea. So look at the color of that water, how crystal clear it is. Isn't it? Did you notice that? Wow. Sometimes the locals try to do the fishing over here. It's so clean, right? So they can see the fishes very clearly. I wish I could have a stream, a private stream like this near to my home. So this is the place where I'm talking about a private stream with a crystal clear. Let's see how the future are. There we are. It's such a nature gift. Wow, you can see the mountains over there. I can see a lot of mountains. And the clouds are nearby, just striking through the mountains. I think these all are new rubber plantation by the government. Harrison Estate. And just now I noticed about a lot of tourists come over here just to take the iconic pictures. I think beside of that mountain maybe the, the Valpare estate and the Adrifili waterfalls. Not much sure about that. It's just a guess of mine. See that's what I talked to you previously. You can see the clouds striking by the mountains. Yeah, it looks like peculiar. So these are the state I'm talking about. And here we are. It's a bay of tourists where people usually do their activities such as swimming and relaxing too. Now we have an ice cream van, so we both found an ice cream, that's why I grabbed two flavors, yummy, man.
So guys, uh, the things that behind me, the nature being behind me is called the nature of gold. You can see the streams. Wow, this looks very great. This place. I recommend this place to come over here only just like a one day. It's absolutely a worth for you guys. So I will capture another moment. Okay, I will also attach him with this video. Let's see how. So basically, this is a rubber plantation of Harrison Ford. It is located at Trishu. So where all these properties belong to the government. They try to make it for a lot of things, especially the rubber. They try to import to some other Asian countries or some European countries for the tiles and some other purpose. Hello, everybody. Now we are in the middle of the jungle and we don't know where we are. Nami sa gumahan. Oh, mosquitoes here. Buying the ticket, ah? Mm. How much is it per head? Indian is 20 per head. Foreigner is 200. They added to... So here we are guys in front of the entrance to Chimani Dam and here we pay totally 100 and the actual cost for the foreign tourist is 200 but somehow I managed by myself escaping from 200 bucks yeah Obviously, the government authorities require only your Aadhaar card, your national ID card, and the payment receipt. That's it. So we continue to start our journey through the forest to the dam. And this shelter is belongs to some government properties. I mean, their officials will stay over here, related to the department. Somehow we feel like a little bit scary of the noises and it's because some places we feel like very individual. Somehow if we go down places like this, I feel really scary. This looks like an abandoned place. Yeah, now we arrive in front of the shelter. So, where the name displays?
So hi everyone, so right now we are in front of the Chimney Dam uh, As what I mentioned earlier, it is situated in Trishu district uh, near to my hometown It takes another 55 kilometers from my home to all this place uh, I think more than uh, 50 years, it's built more than 50 years, still it is like a thing They have a pump house over here and I don't know whether they have a generator or what so I highly recommend you guys to come and visit this place and you can see the reservoir over here so right now they have a four shutters over there it's not so we have a four shutters over there the four shutters so it is still not yet open so obviously for me this is my first time over here uh, with my wife and she's the cameraman in front of me so once you come over here, so you see this is another, another place. So this is where the river starts from, the artificial river. And right now you can see it's, the place is entirely dry. Mm -hmm. Let's see how, but on the way we come off from over there, we can see a river is flowing. Maybe this attached canal will link into some other kind of a river from some other part of that river. Yeah. So it feels good. Yeah. So uh, today, once we enter over here, uh, we have some security check in front of that. So it is a force department area. So we pay around like a one hundred per person, including the motorbike amount. And yeah, this is the only expense that we can meet over there. So if you're just wondering about the snacks and any other other crackers or something, uh, cool drinks, yeah, it is available. It's maybe five or six shops is available, so it is very affordable. So yeah, this is the scene right now, and later we're going top of the dam, and I will show you the reservoir. Okay. So now we are going to the dam viewpoint. Kauban si ibu ang. Na nakita mo yun. Hi everyone, as I mentioned earlier, many locals usually visit here as a part of their exploration. We notice most of them are young generation, as per they are chilling, vibing, having fun too. So as you can see the viewpoint, how does it look like? Wow, nature seems so awesome. And at the moment, I didn't get much about this month, so still we have a lot of rain, I mean the heavy, heavy rainfall. And still the dam looks like a so dry up, only maybe quarter of the portion, the water still exists, still no idea.
Hello friends, I highly recommend you people to visit this tourist site. Yes, you can feel the peace, calm, vibe too. To be honest, I don't really know the, the history of this dam, but in my young age, I studied about this dam in my academic time, I mean related to the history. So this is my first time I'm visiting over here. It is recommended by my brother. So yeah, it's really interesting and yeah, it's a really realistic where I see and experience the nature. So guys, next time, still I'm keep saying, I'm recommending you guys to visit here. Yeah. Manidar, ular itu kau lihat itu, manidar kata lillei, ada yang tahan di, puri daman itu, abe ramye, unda nak alam ini, unda urban ini, yang demikian ni, kena ni, kena ni. Attention people, this is that demon I mentioned earlier. Look at that size of that tree. Seriously, it's such a horrible nightmare. Alama. Just make the view. Finally here we are, the ending scenario. And the dam consists two corners. Mostly this is the one stand where the tourists spend their time most. And we saw that the tourists try to explore rubber boat drive and it costs a little bit expensive. Never mind, let's see how the next time. So I'm being very thankful to guys, all of you watching our video. See you the next time. Have a nice day.